Hey, what's going on YouTube? Anthony Sequera here, and shame on me. There's no Google Cloud Platform playlist on my YouTube channel, and we're taking care of that right now with the first of many videos you can enjoy on the third most popular public cloud, and that is Google Cloud Platform. So if it's the very first video in the newly created Google Cloud Platform playlist, it better feature some of the greatest hits from Google Cloud. And that's exactly what we're going to look at. One of the things that is the shining star in the GCP portfolio is the Kubernetes engine. Let's go take a look at that. If we scroll down under the products, under the compute category, you'll see the Kubernetes engine. And this is a fully managed Kubernetes service. So we don't have to focus on the Kubernetes itself. That will be the job of Google to manage all that for us. We can just start deploying our workloads out to these managed clusters. Now to demonstrate this, instead of going in and creating a cluster and then, you know, some kind of a workload, I'm gonna demonstrate another great feature of public cloud in general but certainly Google Cloud Platform takes advantage of this, and that is a marketplace where you can get automated deployed solutions for your public cloud implementation. For example, let's say, and this is actually true, let's say I wanna get more experience with graph databases. Notice when I come into the marketplace, I can go to the databases filter and filter on that category, and then I can go to Kubernetes and filter on that category. And then I could go to like free and filter on that category. And one of the options that is here is one of the most popular graph database platforms, and that's Neo4j. So I'm gonna select Neo4j here, and I'm gonna choose configure, and it's gonna have this simple page for us to complete where it is going to create the Kubernetes cluster that is required for the underlying infrastructure here. And then once that is done with these parameters, we're gonna deploy this Neo4j enterprise casual cluster environment for graph database work out to Google Cloud Platform with a couple clicks of the mouse as you've seen. Graph databases, by the way, in case you're curious and haven't heard of them yet, there are databases that are focusing more on the relationship between objects. So a great utilization case of the graph database technology would be in like social media where we are having this whole network of friends and groups and all that stuff. If we were interested in zeroing in on the relationship between those objects, that's what a graph database is wonderful for. So I'm gonna pause our video right here for a moment as it just finishes up this whole automated marketplace process. It finishes up creating our Kubernetes uh, cluster engine there, and then we will be right back to finish the deploy. Well, all right, thanks to the magic of video pausing, we are now uh, having a cluster called Cluster One created in our zone of US Central 1A. Excellent. Well, I've now, I'm, I'm now at the point where I'm just ready to click deploy here to deploy the solution out to that Kubernetes engine that was created for us in that automated fashion. So now the particular application components are being deployed out to the Kubernetes engine. You can see how incredibly easy all of this is. I mean, wow. And while that's happening, let's just go up and take a look at our cluster. So there is the cluster one that was created. And this cluster is underlying virtual machines that are running Kubernetes and that are hosting the containers. The containers are what is being deployed out as the workload right now. We can see those container objects here underneath the workloads. And what's really cool is 
if we go into our virtual machines, we should be able to see the virtual machines that were created to host all of this for us. So let me go over to the compute engine category and go to my VM instances and look at that. I had one pre-existing server in here called server one that was in the shutdown state. And then we can see these four devices that are running and these four virtual machines are all part of the cluster one that was created in the Google Kubernetes engine. And of course, that was part of the solution that we just deployed via the marketplace. So if we go back to our Kubernetes engine and we just check on things, I think what we're going to discover is that we are truly ready to go and we have this application. Oh, look at that. Some components are pending. So we would want to make sure that this application is listed as fully ready to go. And then, of course, we could go in and start taking advantage of this Neo4j enterprise graph database solution that we have deployed.